So, we have just started asking the question, is Earth it? Where else could we start looking for living things? What about our solar system? Well, if we look at the planets in our solar system, there's not a lot of hope of finding life there. We looked for life on Mars starting in 1967, when a lander craft analyzed the soil for signs of life like chemistry. There was none seen. There's been some recent evidence of fossilized life on Mar Mars, but that would be life billions of years ago. And there's not a lot of disagreement on whether this fossilized life is actually fossilized bacteria or just some strange crystal formations. There's a lot of debate on the Mars fossils right now. Venus, of course, is another possibility, but its high temperature makes it inhospitable. Europa, the moon of Jupiter, is now considered the most likely possibility because of the liquid water under its icy surface. Everywhere else in the solar system is very unlikely to harbor life. Doesn't mean that life can't exist there, only life like ours cannot. What about the rest of the galaxy? We said that the best bet for life is on planets, but planets around other stars are very hard to find. There is some tantalizing data coming in now, but we cannot detect anything like the Earth around another star yet. But what we can do is make estimates of the number of planets that might exist in the galaxy. We do calculations of the probabilities of stars having planets, the probabilities of these planets having temperate zones, the probability of life forming, the probability of it evolving to intelligence, and the probability of it not destroying itself. An early approach to the statistical problem is known as the Drake Equation, after the U.S. astronomer who pioneered the analysis. The Drake Equation states, N is equal to R times FP times NE times FL times FI times FC times L. Well, what does that all mean? N. N is the number of civilizations in our galaxy with which communication might be possible. Our star is the average rate of star formation in our galaxy, which we said was two or three a year. F sub P is the fraction of those stars that have planets. N sub E is the average number of planets that can potentially support life per star that has planets. F sub L is the fraction of the above that actually go on to develop life at some point. Just because it can potentially support life doesn't mean it happens. F sub I is a fraction of the above that actually goes on to develop intelligent life. F sub C is a fraction of civilizations that develop a technology that releases detectable signs of their existence into space. And L is the length of time such civilizations release detectable signals into space. These are very shaky calculations, and there's a lot of disagreement among astronomers what the estimates are. Optimists estimate there could be millions of inhabited planets in the galaxy. Pessimists estimate only one, us. It turns out that the main uncertainty is how long a civilization lasts before it destroys itself. <laughs>